Hey everybody, today I am taking a look at Quixel Suite 2 materials. Now this is a 3D object I created just so I can uh, get a better understanding of the materials I am soon going to make. Okay, um, now so this this is a 3D object or several 3D objects that I have merged on top of one another but they are not welded together and then I unwrapped everything in ZBrush so their UVs and everything looks good and everything should look great when I load my materials so let's add a material okay it is Um, definitely some metallic. So let's go to metals. Ooh, steel dirty. That looks interesting. Now this should bake over everything. Or apply over everything. Yes, just like that. And... Let's take a look. Okay, it needs a little more. Uh, probably some dirt, or dirt and a little bit. Let's first add some more metal. Okay, so metal group. Um, now let's now let's do steel scratched, and this should apply over the top of our previous metal and then we'll mask it really really fun okay that looks good and let's go to this middle section edit dynamask uh... no it's running pretty well right now but things could really go um, sour if uh, we tried to uh... mask this with uh, material and stuff so just black and white is just fine so let's let's do stains. I like stains. Okay. Now this should be a really quick video. I'm just gonna focus on one material. Okay, now that looks nice, but the stains are not bright enough, so I'm going to adjust the tightness. Okay, and contrast a little bit. Could be totally over oh uh, that looks nice. Let's. Uh, okay, that's even better. And let's die down the contrast a little bit. A little bit more. Whole whole lot more. Okay, now I'm gonna die down the uh, tightness just a little bit. Okay, I like that. So let's accept mask. Okay, and oftentimes when you are uh, in the uh, Dynamask editor, sometimes the, the three do will uh, crash. That's okay; it'll still bake. <clears throat> okay, now the baking is done, so I want to see what that looks like. So let's open up three do again. Sweet. I am going to try and make a really fancy metallic uh, material that I can save as a smart material so I can use on other objects whenever I want to. Okay, there is... Oh, we can see the stains. Right on. I like that. Um, now it needs some other... Uh, I don't know. Let's add another material and see what looks nice. Not oh, metal, we've got enough metal. Fabric dirt, that's a good one. Okay, uh, let's do uh, soil clay. Now, just like before, that this material will apply over everything and then we'll mask it. Awesome. That looks pretty cool. Let's first, let's, uh, oh, 
Never mind, it did look cool, but now it uh, looks weird. Okay, now let's Dynamask that. Nope. Uh -uh. Working with uh, Quixel Suite 2 is a lot of fun because all of this stuff that I'm working on is exciting, right? But I can also edit the uh, endo, which we might take a look at after I finish this uh, smart material. Okay. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, flaked paint heavy, so let's add that. And this should look really cool. Okay, ooh, right on. Uh, let's increase the tightness. Lower it, let's see what that looks like. Uh, quite a bit more. Whole bunch more. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's accept mask. Nice. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Kind of sad. Um, uh, let's open up 3D to see what that mask looked like. Okay, and ooh, that looks nice. Awesome. Um, now, now this is really cool. I figured this out recently. Just like in Photoshop with regular layers, you can adjust the blending mode. Awesome. Okay, so let's open up normal. Right now, uh, this layer is on normal, so let's see what darken looks like. I didn't notice any change. Let's multiply. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, I like that. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. I like that. Now let's add another material. And let's do plastic. Our green poly whatever. And then we have to mask this. And I'll probably do an edges in Dynamask. Sweet. Okay. Okay, that is done. Now let's go to the Dynamask. Initializing. Sweet. Okay. Now up here in the search, let's edges. Sharp edges, edges, sharp edges. Let's try sharp. Yeah, okay, just like that. And let's increase the tightness, or uh, let's see. Is this, okay, this is, to the right is increasing, and decreasing is to the left. I had that backwards somehow. Okay, let's increase the contrast all the way. Uh, that looks fairly nice. Let's adjust the tightness. Okay, I like that. Accept mask. And we could be done with this, um, material. But, I don't know, the green looks a little weird, so we can adjust that if it doesn't look good. Oh, it's gonna crash, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> hmm, I like the way that, um looks on our object, or objects, whatever you place this on when we make the smart material. You can place it on anything you want to, and anytime there's an edge, uh, it'll um, look like this. What color do I want that to be? Probably, let's see, bright orange. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I like this. Uh, let's let's adjust the blending mode to screen. See what that looks like. 
Okay, I like that. Now let's decrease the opacity a little bit. Nice. I love that. Especially down here. That looks very professional and industrial or something. Okay, now I want to right click and duplicate. Now it is going to duplicate that uh, edges effect over the top. And let's adjust the color. Uh, let's see, red and dark red. No, 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 darker. That That's good. Now it should uh, replace this color, the edge color, with uh, that. But it isn't showing up like we would expect it to because it's on screen or a blending mode. Let's go back to normal and it will, yeah, change. And let's increase the opacity. Sweet. Okay, I like that. Now I want it to give a different uh, blending mode. Okay. We did sharp edges last time. Let's try edges right now. Yeah. So awesome really really cool program uh, decrease the tightness uh, all the way I didn't notice anything and um, and now let's uh, adjust our brush in the Dynamask editor construction and uh, adjust the spacing, angle, shape dynamic or shape dynamics. Okay, then increase our draw size, brush size, and let's see if this. Let's just give this a little more of our own uh, touch. Wait. And feel free to move around. Sweet. Zoom in. Wait, hold on. Uh, I don't want the uh, shape dynamics. I want it to be, yeah, like, like that. I don't want it to um, be a big blob. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, then probably some down here. Okay. Have that eaten away. Then over here. Sweet. Okay. I think that might be good. Okay. I like that. Now let's accept the mask. And it should look different. Uh, refreshing. Nice. Sweet. It's not. There are um, holes like I was expecting. But let's adjust the blending mode to multiply. Did anybody notice anything? Um, uh, let's try difference. Um, it did something, but I'm not quite sure. Let's hide this layer to see what was affected. Oh, I saw something. Then make it visible again. Oh, that, I don't know. That's not doing as much as I thought it would do. Texture intensity.
Um, color. I, I didn't notice anything. Uh, this is all pretty confusing right now, so I'm just gonna gonna go back up to normal. Ooh, that's nice. Cool. Okay, I like that. Okay, now we are done. I like this, so I need to give it a fancy name. Um, let's keep looking. What could we What could we call it? Um. It's metal. It looks like some contraption that would shoot out into space or a projector. Um, futuristic. Okay, let's. Uh, here are all our materials. So let's hold down Shift to select everything and then click this little folder. Group selected. Grouping, grouping. Okay, in the group. And then let's rename it. Um, let's see. T tech Technologic um, Decay. Awesome. I love it. It's a good name. Technologic Decay. Make sure it's spelled right. Technologic Decay. Good. Saving. So now, um, I'm not terribly worried with this model because I'll never use it in any of my games. But I just wanted to uh, uh, create a, a model that I could... Uh, see different textures and different effects that I made on it that I could uh, visualize with other objects. So um, now with the whole material selected, let's go to save a smart material and let's call this switch techno decay. Right on. Okay, now it is thinking. Okay. Creating five materials. That's not so bad. Big materials. 56 inches by 56 inches. Um, really exciting. Sweet. Some of the uh, rings that we had on our object, you can see on one of these uh, albedo uh, texture maps. Nice. Okay, creating normal and done. And, oh, this is the best part. Watch this. Print screen. Right there. It's a good material. It gives you a little uh, uh, example of what that is going to look like. Preset saved successfully. Cool. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. This is the smart material that we just created. Um, whoa. Okay. And as we get closer, it's looking better and better and I'm really pleased with what we came up with and this is just five uh, materials or textures and uh, yeah I'll be able to use this for all sorts of uh, exciting things that I intend to work on in the future and thanks for watching and if you like this video please subscribe and stay tuned for more I'm excited to keep making these videos thank you